everyone and welcome back to another Legion beta video. Today we'll be talking about alt catch up in Legion and not just alt characters. Each spec has a different artifact weapon that will also need to be powered up. This is certainly a large concern both for players and Blizzard themselves. Uh, with the game getting older and leveling becoming faster, many of us just have a shed load of characters. And also with Warlords making much of our armor work for different roles, I think it's more likely than ever that quite a few of us will be choosing to main multiple specs or roles. Now, while the single spec progression of artifact weapons is definitely quite cool, there has been quite a lot of concern about whether the system will punish players who play multiple classes and specs. First, a really quick refresher on how you level your weapon. Basically, items drop from content that will give you artifact power when you click on them. Artifact power is to your artifact weapon, as experience is to your own character's talent tree, so it's not like you get an increase in, um, you know, in, in the, the artifact weapons item level, the more you get artifact power, rather the level of your weapon itself increases, which means you're able to purchase a trait from its talent tree. So soon after you set up your class order hall, you get access to a historian NPC. Their job is to research into your artifact weapon. The actual game mechanic here is that you place orders with this NPC. The amount of time that these work orders take actually varies right now from level five to six. It actually takes three days um, of time and you can actually queue up two at once. These work orders produce a item that when used will increase the multiplier on the amount of artifact power that you earn from most sources. There are some fixed sources of artifact power, like say narrative quests, which are not affected by this multiplier. This is just to prevent shenanigans with people hoarding up artifact power items until they have a certain amount of research. But uh, yeah, you can't really game this system. The multiplier on your artifact weapon power from this system applies to your character and not just the spec that you're currently playing. This means that leveling your second spec artifact weapon will benefit from all the research orders that you've already done on your character. Let's go over an example. So I've mainly been playing my hunter on the beta and since hitting max level, I have been doing artifact weapon research. I've currently got five levels out of 25 and getting from my fifth to sixth level, as I said, actually is going to take me three days. However, it was much faster before that. Originally, world content would have given me like from 100 to 200 art artifact power, but now that I've done some research, that number is increased by 200%. So as you can see, the amount of artifact power that I actually get is far, far higher. And this is with me having five levels or ranks even of artifact knowledge. There are a total of 25. The first few artifact traits cost under 500 power each. So as you can see, um, initially powering up your alt specs weapon will be really, really quick. It does take quite a lot of time to increase to the higher ranks of artifact knowledge, but I do have numbers to give you for the first 11 ranks. So at rank one, you get a multiplier of 25% on the artifact power that you get. On my character, it's 200%. At rank six, it's 275. At rank seven, it's 375. At rank eight, it's 500. At rank 9, it is 650. At rank 10, it's 850. And finally, at Artifact Knowledge rank 11, you'll have a multiplier of 1100. I haven't got higher than this level, and I can't find data that goes all the way up to Artifact Knowledge rank 25. What I can say is that level 8 carries a 33% increase over the magnitude of the previous rank's multiplier. Level 9 is a 30% increase, level 10 is a 30.7 increase, and level 11 is a 29.4% increase. For the sake of illustration, let's just say that each rank past 11 carries a multiplier that is equal to 130% of the previous rank minus 1.5 for each rank that we are above rank 11, which sounds really confusing, but I'll flash a graph and that will make it make sense. This would mean that at rank 15, you'd have a multiplier of 2,875. At rank 20, you have a multiplier of 7,272. And at rank 25, you have a multiplier of 13,330. Those numbers are likely bullshit as we hit the higher ranks, but this is more just to illustrate a point. Anyway, similar to how the rate of artifact power acquisition will increase greatly, the cost of artifact weapon traits also increases. 
traits start off costing like 300 points. By the time you hit rank 20, though, they cost 7,540. By the time we hit rank 25, that's up to 25,850. And by the time we hit rank 30, that's 100,000 artifact power. And finally, rank 35 costs 383,000 artifact power. So the increase in the cost of the traits is very exponential, as you can see. It's worth noting, though, that as we covered earlier, while the rate of the sort of multiplier uh, size that you get from your artifacts, knowledge ranks, as that, you know, that does really increase a lot, it just doesn't increase as exponentially as this, um, you know, as, as the actual artifact trait system. This means that, especially for the last few artifact traits, it is going to take quite a while to get them, even if you do have a pretty high level of artifact knowledge. Anyway, what does all of this actually amount to for you? Well, it means that the last few traits in your artifact weapon will take a long ass time to get, even if you have full artifact knowledge. However, players with a high amount of artifact knowledge can expect to rank up their second weapon to about rank 30 very, very quickly indeed. Something with a base artifact power reward of say 200 will be rewarding you 2,200 power by the time you hit artifacts knowledge level 11. If the trends that we predicted were to stay true, then by knowledge level 20, that same item would give you 14,400. It is worth noting though that the increases in artifact knowledge don't apply retroactively, so hoarding items until you have more knowledge is not something that will work. Now on top of this, it has been revealed that filling every trait is only meeting a soft cap. Past filling every trait in your artifact weapon, you'll be able to put power into it to kind of gain a small further power increase, which seems to be similar to, say, Paragon levels or how you would uh, level up your legendary ring from killing Archimond. Now, moving into the talk about how much this is uh, sort of alt-spec friendly, Legion removed multi-strike, which means that there are even less secondary stats to worry about. Bonus armor and spirit are also somewhat baked in. Uh, this overall means that armor is a lot more compatible between your different specs. I'd say that on balance, maintaining more specs on the same character is easier than it was previously, though if you want to do that at the very start of the expansion before you have um, quite a few levels of artifacts knowledge, well, that actually will be kind of tricky. Multiple characters might be another story, though. It has been confirmed that there is no account-wide catch-up mechanic for artifact power, but it is the case that as time goes on, they plan to decrease the research time of the artifact knowledge ranks. This means that getting a new character up to speed sometime after the expansion launches, uh, it should be quite doable. However, if you are looking to run two different classes to a raiding or competitive PvP standard, I think you will have your work cut out for you. Getting artifact knowledge does cost order hall resources, but it's a reasonably small amount, so I don't think that will be a problem. And one nice thing about Legion is that just about every form of content does give you artifact power. So that's PvP, world quests, dungeons, raiding, etc. This means that it does feel a lot less grindy. While you probably will be able to get it technically faster by doing one particular method, this does mean that I think you'll be a lot less pressure to go out and uh, specifically grind it, which is definitely a good thing. However, for certain playstyles, I do think this produces a, a new and different hurdle that players will have to get used to. However, for most people, I don't think it will be much of a problem overall. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for me. Let me know what you think about this system down in the comments, or of course, let me know on Twitter, which is the best place to get a hold of me. But with all that said, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.